Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we're gonna to take a look at a video of a woman who claims sovereign citizenship in the country of Singapore. She calls herself We the People and in the analysis afterwards, I'm gonna talk about why this is a bad idea for her. Thank you everybody for joining me. My name is Joe Pometto. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Trying to get to 10,000 subscribers, it's an easy way to support the show. Also, sign up for my email list. You'll get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement. Here on the Common Sense Academy, we take a look at sovereign citizens, First Amendment auditors, and people behaving badly. We also have another ritual where, before we watch the the video we raise our glass in the air you might have beer wine or tea i drink coffee the nectar of the gods it tastes better when we sip together the same time sip cheers with me cheers <sighs> towards the end of the cup okay let's watch this video Red, actually read the law. No, no I've, I've read the law. Yeah. I said, not some... I'll not, show you a video of the police. Yeah. 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 Same thing. Yeah. Trying to stop me. Yeah. And then walked off. So what's the Without law? Without warning. What's your Without understanding? Fine. What's your understanding? I'm a sovereign. Mm -hmm. I am a sovereign. See, this is something people are not going to know even what it is. They don't even know what being a sovereign is. It means I have nothing to do with the police. It means I have no contact with the police. They will not say what to me. This doesn't even make any sense. It's about if you're a person in Singapore, you have to follow the rules of Singapore. That's the thing, I'm not a person. You're not a person. I'm the people. You're what? So this video is odd because it starts out and this woman has her hand on her cell phone and this guy um, sitting on the side is holding the cell phone also. So I'm assuming that it was her cell phone and he's holding it from her and he's sort of holding it as like a hostage. Like maybe they're waiting for the police to come. She doesn't want to let go of her phone. I don't know what's going on there, but, uh, you know, did this woman break any laws? I, I don't know. Is she just, is she just videoing? Um, she says she's a sovereign and this guy says, um, this is Singapore. If you're a person, you know, the, the laws are going to apply to you as a person. And she says, I'm not a person. I am we the people. Now, while somebody in the United States might understand what you mean by that as saying that you're we the people, uh, in Singapore, they probably don't. While I'm sure they have a constitution, Singapore is one heck of a country when it comes to the criminal laws. I mean, here's the thing. Here's the truth. You know, people can sort of get away with pulling the sovereign citizen stuff in the United States because... Um, we're the kind of country that, you know, doesn't get that rough with people. I mean, we probably get rougher than some other people, some other countries, but likely not as rough as most countries. You do have rights in the United States, whether you understand them or know them or not, okay? You do have some rights. You know, a lot of people said that Gandhi's approach only really worked in India because he was they were dealing with the British, the British who respected human rights to a degree, okay? If they were dealing with some other countries, all right, they might have been violently re uh, repressed. But that, that's, all, that's, that's a different point, okay? Um, let's talk a little bit about the legal system of Singapore. And I'm just looking here on wikipedia.com. Um, it has been claimed that one of the results of such robust regulations and interventions is that Singapore is one of the lowest incidences of violent crimes in the world. Singapore retains both corporal punishment in the form of caning. Corporal punishment is physical punishment and capital punishment by hanging as punishments for serious offenses. For certain offenses, the imposition of these penalties is mandatory. More than 400 people were executed in Singapore, mostly for drug trafficking between 1991 and 2004. Singapore is one of the highest execution rates in the world relative to its population, surpassing Saudi Arabia. Science fiction writer William Gibson famously described Singapore as Disneyland with the death 
penalty. So um, I, I wonder what this woman did. Uh, you know, she's sitting there claiming sovereign citizenship. Listen, you know, sovereigns, you know, they need to be dealt with if they're breaking a law. If they're not breaking a law, just let them be, okay? There's nothing wrong with being a sovereign citizen if you're not breaking the law, okay? Um, I, I mean, it can lead you to break the law later in life, but if you're going to be a sovereign and never break the law, then by golly, go ahead, be a sovereign, all right? You can quote me on that. But the problem is, is it leads people to unlawful behavior. But I, I actually i am fearful of what this woman may have coming to her considering that she may have broke the law in Singapore. She might want to give up that phone and just get the heck out of there. Um... But again, ma'am, you're not in the United States. You're not, you're not in the United Kingdom. You are not in Disneyland, okay? You're in Singapore. If you break the law, you may have something coming to you uh, totally sideways, and it, it may be worse than just breaking a window, which is what happens to you in the U.S. when you play this stupid sovereign citizen BS. So we, you know, we may put you in jail, too, if you're held in contempt of court. Um, but, you know, Singapore is, again, notorious for a low crime rate and for being very strict on crime. Um, I see photos of Singapore and I like to travel and it looks beautiful. Like that guy said, Disneyland with the death penalty. Uh, I think they've I think they've executed some Americans. I'm not sure about that, um, but they've definitely executed foreigners uh, for drug trafficking. Um one thing I can say is I lived in Japan for two and a half years, and I, I followed every freaking rule that they had. I followed every rule that they had. Um, and the Japanese, you know, they have a, a, a pretty large police presence, even just around their streets, this and that. Um, so, you know, some of these Asian countries, you don't want to mess around. And pulling this We the People stuff in Singapore, I don't think it's going to get you very far. Um, so thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm Joe Pometto. This is the Common Sense Academy. Before we tune out, I want to give a shout-out to my patrons on Patreon. These are the people, along with the people who drop me super chats, okay, uh, who who sustain me, okay? They make this economically worth it for me. They're helping me during these tough times with COVID-19. So I want to give a shout out to William, Kev, Megan, CW, Thomas, Stuart, Ramontis, Pim, Carl, Jacqueline, Michael, Arlette, Jessamy, Richard, and Joseph. Listen, you guys, excuse me. You are, you support the Common Sense Academy like nobody else. I am very, very thankful. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and sign up for my email list. Common Sense Academy out.